for us, it could be just another day. Like it's work, you're sending puppies home, but everyone's getting what's gonna be their next hunting buddy and family member for, you know, 10 to 15 years, and that's a big deal. So you wanna make sure everybody, you know, gets to have the fun, full experience of, of being here. My job, when it comes to the breeding program, is to do my best to stack the odds in your favor. And I'm, I'm excited to put CGA to work, to put yeah. Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy to work. Got our original complete Gun Dog Academy, which has a module called Success with Your New Puppy. You've also got on the 52 plus side, Josh recording himself doing all that with Violet and recording these videos for a week as like, hey, we're struggling with this, this is what we're gonna do. Hey, we're trying to teach you this, this is what we're gonna do. So everything starts from the time you come home with proper socialization, proper introduction. By socialization, I just mean teaching your puppy that these things that it encounters in the world are good, positive things that it can be excited about, right? Other people, other tastes, smells, noises especially, water, decoys, calls, whatever. Whatever it is, the dog needs to learn these are great things. And you do that by associating them with a positive. And so Cornerstone really walks through a lot of that with puppies and puts you on a proper schedule. And then even for the family, one of the benefits is you've got an app, you've got videos on the computer. You can say, hey kids, this week with Fido, here's what we're doing. So if I'm at work and you guys are home, just remember, here's kind of the rules. And we watch this video together and then they're on the same page and then they get interested in seeing the, the progress. You just lined out exactly how I'm gonna do this with sit down with the kids and be like, guys, these are the things that we're working on this week. And they're gonna see, obviously, me doing it, but it's gonna be moms involved, both daughters are involved. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Cornerstone for a guy that's taking a dog home with his family, wants to have a, a great gun dog who's super steady, will mark multiples, run good blinds, but also be a great addition to the family and have, you know, obedience to me is so important. Um, and, and it's the, the the cornerstone that we build from is obedience and it's the foundation of all retrieving problems. My mentor used to always say that 90% of retrieving problems were obedience problems and uh, I firmly believe that. So to be able to establish that with your family I think it would be awesome man. I can't wait to see how it goes. This is Hondo. That's his name. Racked our brains half the night driving last night and decided on Hondo. Bringing Hondo into the home, we were working on things like place, we were working on clicker and treat association, and he took to it like a fish to water, like a lab to water, actually is probably a better, a better explanation. Hondo. And we're kind of combining heel work right here with the place board. I haven't done much of this yet, but notice he wants to be a heel. Good boy. Get him to come to heel one more time. Place. All right, so let's see how long Hondo can wait withstand the temptation challenge. No. That's pretty impressive for a puppy. Hondo Mark. Hondo, fetch it up. He will have lost that right there, but he'll find it. There he sees it. Good boy. Right here. Good boy, he'll give. Good boy. We are about week 12, week 13 with Hondo, really deep diving into obedience. Lots of place training or sending to place, an extended place, an extended sit, stuff that's going to equate to steadiness in the field, in the duck blind. I've actually gotten Hondo out on a couple of hunts, one waterfowl hunt where he, got a, where he did get to retrieve a, a Canada goose, and last weekend on an antelope hunt, here in Wyoming, a lot of times you'll run into upland birds, chuckers and huns and things like that. 
got into a couple groups of chuckers. I put Hondo on the ground not expecting anything, and he ended up flushing five birds. Hondo, come. Heel. Place. So we promised you a quick hunt with Hondo. Had my buddy Tyler out here this morning doing the shooting. This is all about Hondo, about getting Hondo retrieves. Young dog, I've had him on two other hunts earlier this year with no camera. And this morning I thought, let's try the camera and see how he does. I've been pretty pleased. He's been doing really well. We got lots of birds. We've been just trying to shoot single drakes, um, not shooting into big groups. Kind of a gentleman's hunt. It's not always about smashing limits, about smashing big piles of stuff, guys. When you got a young dog like Hondo, it's more important to get him the work that he needs to be steady and a reliable retriever. And that's what this is about. Thankfully, Tyler agreed to come out and do the shooting this morning. Really had to twist your arm. Yeah. <laughs> Stay. It's been good, and you gotta have that. You gotta have guys that are gonna understand this is this hunt's not about piles. This hunt is about retrieves for the dog, controlled scenario. You don't want to throw all that training and hard work that you've done out the window just because you want to make big piles. I made that mistake when I was young. I put my dogs on birds and on in tough conditions and it's high stress situations way too early, and Mackinac especially has some bad habits because of that. I didn't want that to happen with Hondo, so everything's been slow, steady, and controlled, and he's crushing it. I couldn't be happier. So we got one more bird to fill out. Let's see if we can get one more. Tyler. Nice job, man. Give. We'll finish this one. And... Good boy. Dude, thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. It was fun. You shot really well. We killed Tyler, killed five big Drake Mallards. Hondo mopped him up. No muss, no fuss. We broke on the first bird, but that was more me because I was watching the bird and not the dog. But after that, he was rock solid. That's what I was looking for this morning was a very controlled hunt with a young dog and work on that steadiness, right, buddy? And he's still wound up and ready to go. Hey, sit. Stay. Anyway, we're out. We got out here, put the Federal to work and the Savage to work, put Hondo to work. Guys, remember, when you got a young dog especially, don't get in a rush to get them on birds. A lot of times you're gonna do more harm than good. And uh, place, he's gonna go sit and look for more birds, which is good, that's what I like. I waited two years for this with Hondo because I did not want to push him and create bad habits like I did with Mackinac. And so far, so good. It's okay to take your time. In fact, you're gonna be better off in the long run to take your time, make sure you got your training dialed, right? Absolutely, yeah. And you've got four labs. Yeah, and they all get their turn. They all have to start slow. Yeah. 
or else you'll create those bad habits. Yep. Yeah, you and I talk about that all the time. And, you know, sometimes you got to tell your buddies, hey, this hunt's about the dog. It's not about you shooting, it's about the dog. We could have limited out 10 guys in here this morning. I mean, it would have been easy. You had lots of birds. But we're conserving the spot. We're trying to get Hondo locked in, and we're well on the way to that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. While I got you here, drop down, mash that subscribe button, leave us a comment, let us know what else you'd like to see. Check us out on all of our social media platforms as well. And don't forget to listen to the Wingmen podcast. Give us a review on that podcast too. It really helps us get a lot of traffic and bring you more great content. Until next time, we'll see you in the field.